Welcome to Adam's Farm Foods. In today's video, we are going to learn a little about inbreeding and crossbreeding of pigs. We will tackle what is the best pig breeding systems for new and small scale pig farmers. Introduction Breeding or mating systems refer to the method of mating a boar with a gilt or so for the purpose of incorporating or maintaining desired features. Because a pig's genetics influence its performance and meat quality, all pig breeders should be knowledgeable about pig breeding methods. The purpose of this brief is to provide an overview of pig breeding methods and heterosis. Small and beginning pig producers will benefit from the discussion of practical swine breeding techniques. Objectives Introduce pig breeding systems Introduce heterosis or hybrid vigor Discuss pig breeding systems for small and beginning farmers Pig mating systems A breed is described as a group of animals with distinct Fixed features that will produce offspring with the same qualities when mated with another member of the same breed. The strategy adopted to couple individuals for breeding in order to incorporate or retain desirable qualities is known as breeding or mating systems. Positive assorted mating and negative assorted mating are the two basic types of mating techniques. We breed like to like in positive assorted mating to restrict the genetic pool and increase the frequency with which the desired qualities manifest. We breed unlike to unlike in negative assorted mating to remedy a deficiency or improve the expression of a specific characteristic. Five primary breeding systems emerge as a result of these mating tactics. Five basic breeding systems. 1. Crossbreeding Crossbreeding is a method of mating pigs with highly different genetic backgrounds in order to produce heterosis. Heterosis refers to kids performing better than their parents on average. 2. Random mating within breeds Within a breed, random mating refers to mating individuals without regard for their pedigree. 3. Outcrossing Individuals who are less closely connected within the breed should be bred. 4. Inbreeding, individuals who are very closely connected within the breed should be bred. 5. Line breeding, a type of inbreeding in which one ancestor or line of ancestors inheritance is concentrated within a herd. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. Inbreeding and line breeding. Inbreeding and line breeding can be employed to generate new pig breeds by promoting homogeneity within the genetic pool. However, as the genetic pool becomes more homogeneous, the likelihood of unwanted genes being expressed rises. Inbreeding depression is a term used to describe a loss in performance as a result of this. Outcrossing and random mating within a breed Within a breed of pigs, outcrossing and random mating are utilized to maintain genetic variation. While breeding like to like helps ensure that exceptional features are passed down to all kids, inbreeding depression is almost always present when breeds or lines within breeds are kept pure. Crossbreeding strategies Almost all pigs are subjected to crossbreeding programs in order to improve their genetics and performance. Producers can take a variety of ways to crossbreeding, each with its own set of benefits and drawbacks. Breeding systems, terminal system. The terminal system is the swine industry. Crossbred females are bred to a terminal sire, purebred or crossbred, in this system, and all progeny are sold. This is an easy to manage technique that produces genetically homogeneous pig groups year after year and captures 100% of available hybrid vigor in females and progeny. The disadvantage of this technique for small and beginning farms is that all replacement gilts and boars must be purchased. 
purchasing new gilts on a regular basis may be prohibitively expensive, and it increases the risk of introducing novel infections into your swine herd. Breeding Systems, Rotational Systems A rotational technique is used by many small pig farms. With each generation of replacement gilts, certain breeds of boars are rotated into the herd. On farm replacement crossbred gilts are raised to help with herd biosecurity. The quantity of hanerosis maintained increases as the number of breeds in the cycle increases. A rotational system does not allow for maximum hybrid vigor, yet it is a typical technique because it can save money when compared to acquiring new animals. In order to sustain the plant genetic program if natural service is employed, a considerable number of boars, at least one of each breed used in the crosses, may need to be kept on the farm. Artificial insemination allows access to a wider range of boars without the need to keep those individuals on site. Some of the constraints to more sophisticated breed rotations have been lowered thanks to the availability of purchased semen and personal computing technologies. Breeding Systems, Combination System There's also the possibility of using both systems at the same time. A small portion of the herd is retained in a rotational system, which is largely utilized to produce replacement gilts for the farm as a whole. Some replacement gilts are kept in the rotating system, but the majority are bred to a terminal sire and all of the progeny are sold. This combination allows you to raise your own replacement gilts while also increasing hybrid vigor in most market pigs. This approach can become cumbersome and difficult to handle for producers with a small group of sows and gilts. To ensure the system's success, meticulous records and management are required. Pig breeding systems have a significant impact on the genetic background of your pigs, and consequently on performance and meat quality. Thank you for watching my videos, please subscribe to the channel. Like and share the video with family and friends. Comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.